this is my natural hair. Teaching you secrets every day of myself. It's frizzy, it's horrible, I hate it. So this is going back while I do my face. So yeah, I'm just gonna brush my hair back while I do my face because I really like it off my face. And I've just put on some of my Instant Boost Skin Tonic by Lizelle. Absolutely love this stuff. Like, it's honestly one of my favourite things. Lizelle is one of the skincare brands that I always buy from. And I know it's high-end, but I just love it and simple. Simple's my drugstore. Anyway, I'm going to try the Professional um, Primer by Benefit. I really like this one, and I think it's really good for the pores. Oh, I love the smell of it. So I got these eyelashes put on. They look a bit, like, like, not very nice. But I got them put on, and the ones that are only meant to last, last like, 24 hours, because I got them put on for somewhere in the city, just, like, so I didn't have to do them. But they've actually lasted, like, a week. So... I'm just rolling with it. I mean, they don't look that bad. Like, I can live with it. So, I'm just going to see how long I can get them to last. I'm going to put some of my Revolution Ultra Strobe Cream on. I love this. I love it a lot. And look how pretty that is. <laughs> I'm on I actually like love strobe creams especially this one because it's like really illuminates your skin and I just really like it if I can squeeze anything out of my Chanel CC cream this is like literally nearly at its end but I bloody love this stuff so I'm gonna see if I can get a day's worth of it out <sighs> did you say that we've got some i'm just gonna blend this in with my wet beauty blender i never used to wet my beauty blender and then more recently i've just decided to start wetting it and i like it um even though i'm not 100 percent sure of that i do like it god i talk a load of crap um but yeah so i'm just blending this in as much as it usually would so that's a bit disappointing i mean i know it's a say cream but when i was on holiday it was like really covering my skin and that but i'm <laughs> but i'm presuming it's because like i don't even know what it's because i'm gonna go in with a foundation as well though and i'm gonna use the uh collection last and perfection ultimate wear 16 hour foundation i'm just gonna put some of this on my face as well How are you feeling about my content recently? I know I've had like a massive growth in subscribers and stuff, but like I feel like I've really found what I love doing on YouTube with my content recently. And I'd love to know your opinions on like my recent content and stuff, just to yeah, what you think of it. Cause I really quite like filming what I'm filming. Um, so yeah but I am gonna fake tan as well just because I haven't worn fake tan since I was gonna say for a while but I wore it last weekend but I just fancy a bit of tan as well so that's happening okay I need a concealer here's this one this is the Maybelline New York Fit Me concealer I've used this one for quite a while I quite like it I use the shade oh it does 20 it's shade 20 can't believe it's been like a full week since summer in the city already I don't know when this video is going to go live, but, well, this video will probably go live Monday, so it's been, like, over a week. But, like, it's actually Saturday today, like, the Saturday after summer in the city. And, like, I can't believe it's been a full week and it's all over. Like, I don't even think it's hit us still what happened and, like, you know, you know, where she does her makeup. And I just think, why do people get so wound up about how other people do something that maybe you're like better at like if i seen somebody i don't know recording a youtube video and they didn't record it the same way as me i wouldn't be wound up by it i'd just be like yeah okay they do it differently or that's the way they like to do it so yeah i don't get why people get wound up about the way people do their makeup on their face 
revolution stick this is the one in f11 for like the darker shade because i just feel like it's really good just to do a bit of contouring yeah not saying i've got my hair the one that goes like all around me are familiar places just did my eyebrows and i know half years don't like them but that's okay because i don't mind them and they're on my face I don't know how I want to wear my eyelids today. I haven't quite decided, but I'm probably going to go for it again. I'm going to go in with this palette. This is just the Revolution one. This is the Reloaded Iconic Fever palette. I'm just going to use a mix of colours from this one. I wear red a lot, not so much orange, and I really do like the orange ones. It's very like orange. Um, I'm gonna see what's in my Huda Beauty palette. I always go back to it, but I suppose I guess that's how I know I love it. I actually like the orange better from the Revolution palette, though. I think it's more of like a pop orange, where this orange a bit more dull. Then a little bit of the amber color from the Huda one on the end. And then I might try a bit of a like cut crease thing here. Okay, now I need to find a colour for my eyelids. And I don't know which colour I want to use. Maybe one over here would be nice. Shimmery orange, but I don't know if I put a shimmery orange with a matte orange. Would that look good? We're going to try it anyway. Now blend that out. It's definitely not a cut crease, but we can deal with whatever it's created. It's quite pretty. And then I need the white one. Look at that pop. I love it when that bit pops. Yeah. Some bronzer and highlight i'm going to be using my forever one which is the hula bronzer by benefit i literally don't use any of those because this one just i don't know i just like it but i feel like if i like act like unenthusiastic in this video it's totally because it's like too early for us like it's not even that early but i haven't been out of bed long and it's just like you know when it's just like mm, it's just like that I look like actually really orange that's why i definitely need to do tan now because i've put the darker foundations on so like i've got no choice but to do tan i've put that highlight far too high what am i doing like spread it <gasps> oh. like makeup get ready with me or whatever people are like don't put the highlight on your nose because it doesn't look good I really like it on my new colour, so well. Okay, I need a lippy. I feel like using one that I don't use often because I feel like I use all the, always the same lippies. Oh, I need to put some mascara on because I totally forgot. I'm just gonna use this little They're Real by Benefit. They're my favourites, but like. quite like this one mine but it's just not like there's not enough of it it's too subtle that's why I like adding the ones with a bit of brown because I just think they're a bit nicer okay now I need to straighten my frizz wig because it's like really frizzy and how much hair comes out my brush when I brush it straightened my hair I really like it straight um 
yeah it's literally like my head must overproduce so much hair because like loads of my hair falls out when I straighten it it's actually pretty rotten but I'm gonna go and film some videos and that like I said I needed to do hence why I'm doing my makeup and hair now and then later on I'll finish this video when I decide what I'm wearing for going out tonight yay <laughs> let's hope one of the boo -woo let's hope one of the boohoo items fits so that i can wear one of them and then i don't have a worry of what am i gonna wear tonight but that would be too simple for my life so i'm not i'm not holding out for that but we'll see we'll see like honestly does anybody else take absolutely hours to get ready and like sit and contemplate their full life in their head as they're meant to be getting ready because like i should be ready now but it really took us like four hours after sat here contemplated stuff and i need to do my tan i need to go and just like you know get ready i need to do my hair again i, d I feel like doing something a bit more fancy with my hair i don't really fancy like just put like straighten in it because i feel like that's what i always do so i might try and do like a little bit of a posh updo or something or i might end up with it straight again i'll probably end up with it straight but we're gonna try something a bit more fancy with it but i just feel like I just need to sit here and contemplate life for a bit so I don't know what time I'm actually going to be ready because I'm, I'm I just can't motivate myself to get ready like I just can't motivate myself hi so I'm eventually ready um it literally took me all day to get ready I've did my makeup again it's more or less well I used all the same products that I used last time Apart from instead of like bright orange on there, I went for red because I'm wearing a red dress. But I'm gonna get my mum to do an overview so you can see my outfit. And then yeah, I've also just tied my hair in a really low bun and then put some side bits down just because I think it looks fancy. Frame. Um, we have to stand still out on focus. Is it all of us in? So this is my finished look. Um, I've got this red dress on from Boohoo, which I'll link below. And then I've just got these pointed shoes on from Nana. I don't know where she got these, probably new look. And then I've got a little gold necklace. And I've got my hair up in a little bun. And yeah. Like my get ready with me, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye. <laughs>